Okay, so in today's video, we are going to uh, scrub down the bottom of the boat. It's, it's been probably close to like 10 days since we scrubbed it last. We've been a bit irresponsible lately. <laughs> so the bottom looks really, really bad and we're really embarrassed about that. But, okay, so this video could, could be interesting to anybody who's going to clean the bottom of their boat, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, but more interesting to somebody who is wondering about their Precision 18 and how much desire to write the boat actually has. Because I know when I first got this boat, the first thing I did is outfit it for like, you know, some, some long distance camp cruising. But I put all my gear down below and then I took it down and put it in the water and I did a writing test on it. And I healed it all the way over and put the masthead under the water to see what it would do because I didn't want to be out in 40 knots of wind <laughs> and find out there. I wanted to know what was going to happen before I went out there. So, yeah, this, this video could be interesting to anyone who has a Precision 18 and is wondering about the writing moment. Because what we're going to do is we are going to heel the boat over and tie the masthead down to this log behind us so we can easily scrub the bottom and do a really, really good job. Now, we have selected this beach for this location because, as you can see, it's fairly deep right here and it's also kind of deep right up to the shore so when we heel the boat over the side won't be scratching on the bottom or anything like that but anyways hopefully that makes some sense and uh yeah we're gonna go ahead it's a little bit rough out today so it's kind of like a bad day to do it but whatever we, we got to get it clean so we're gonna go ahead and make an attempt but hopefully this will bring you guys some value we're gonna go ahead and get into it let's see how it goes All right, so this is a, an updated uh, upper bracket to hold our whisker pole. In one of our other videos, you saw we made it out of some nylon that we had, but since then we found this really nice piece of stainless steel wire on the beach. And so that's, that's a serious upgrade there. That's, I think that's going to last forever. Anyways, let's go take a look at how the boat floats when it's heeled over sideways. You can see some of the safety features. Okay, so you can see that this boat has a really, really aggressive heel. And at times, we've been out in, in really big winds and been driving the boat way too hard with way too much sail and just kind of being, I guess, irresponsible, but also just kind of having fun. And, and we've hit a couple of knockdowns that have healed the boat this far. But you can see, even with a heel this far, the water is nowhere near going through the uh, companionway. And the window is under the water, but that's all sealed and the cockpit's all sealed. So even with a really, really aggressive heel like this, it's still completely safe. Now. I have never been sailing and have had the mast in the water before. But, like I said earlier, I have done a writing test where I put the masthead all the way under the water about three feet, so the boat was past 90 degrees. And it still has a huge desire to write really, really quickly. So I think anybody with a Precision 18 would be really happy to know that. Let's go take a look and see how dirty the bottom is. Uh, yeah, so you, I think you can see here you can see just how bad just how bad the bottom really is and that's only after like 10 days of growth so that that's that's pretty bad anyways we're going to get this sucker cleaned and get it stood back up right
Okay, so we got our boat all cleaned up and we're back out here underway. So in the summertime, you, you get a lot of growth on the bottom of your boat. That's just something you can't avoid. And to maintain peak performance is always a good idea. <laughs> Over a, 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 you know, a, a little a leg about like 60 or so miles, well, any leg really, that extra performance really, really adds up. But, okay, so you can see in the video when we were pulling the boat over, it was about all we had in us to pull this thing down. Like, it took a lot of effort to do that. So any Precision 18 sailors, I think this, this video, watching this would bring them a lot of comfort to see just how much effort it took to pull over and also how much effort it took to let it back up with control because it has a large desire to right itself. Now, when we had it maximally healed over like that, like I said when, when, when I was doing that little talk a minute ago, when we were out sailing and, and, and I've had knockdowns like that, like a bunch of times, and, uh, and, and when you're out in the moment and it's like blowing 40 knots and the seas are kind of big, it can be a little bit scary, but in this video you can see just how much desire, even when the mast is parallel with the water, just how much desire the boat has to right itself. So I think that's going to bring a lot of precision sailors uh, a lot of comfort. Anyways, I'll stop rambling on about the physics of, of sailing. And we are going to set us a course to, I'm not sure exactly where yet, but uh, this course right here seems pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.